Hello and welcome to the Z-Huts, how to build Android apps using MIT App Inventor 2, episode number 5. In today's tutorial with MIT App Inventor, we are going to take a look at the text-to-speech function. Now there's lots of different applications in your apps you could use this. Um, we're going to go over a couple of the most common uses of it. Um, one, we're going to have a button that you push, and then it'll play whatever you have um, in the uh, saved in the blocks editor for it to play using text to speech. And then we're going to also use a text box. So whatever you enter into your app in the text box, when we push the button, then it will play that as well. All right, uh, well, let's just get right into it. So first, of course, we need to open up our MIT App Inventor 2. Then we're going to click on Start New Project. And then we just need to give it a name. Um, I'm just going to put in Z Hut. You, of course, will want to put whatever name you want the app to be called in there. All right, well, first, we're going to go over to the screen properties here. And I'm going to set it up so everything's centered. Now, you may wish if you were having several buttons that were going to play something, um, you might want to use an arrangement. And um, that was actually covered in one of the previous videos. So if you haven't seen that, you can go uh, to my channel and check it out. Background color we're going to leave. I'm not going to bother putting an image up on this one or the icon. Um, I think we're pretty much just going to leave everything else alone on there. So then what we need is we're going to want a button. Then we're going to want a text box. And then we need to go down under the media tab. And we want to drag in the text text to speech function and just drop that on the screen. Now I'm also going to add one more little thing. I want there to be, it shows a small space between here, but when you load it up, um, that put the app on your Android device, they're going to be really close to each other. So I'm going to go under the user interface and I'm going to drag in a label and use that as a spacer between there. Um, so I'm going to rename that SP1 for spacer1. And then I'm going to get rid of the text. And then I need to set a height. And let's just put 25 pixels between them. There we go. All right. Uh, that's all that we need to do in the layout for this tutorial. Like I said, um, on your app, you're most likely going to want to have a background image. And uh, you can also add an image to the text button or, uh, well, let's just make that look a little better. Let's set the background color for this to green. Whoop, whoops, I'm in the text box. Sorry about that. We want button. I'm going to set the background. Well, let's go blue. Uh... We'll leave the, the height and width automatic. We'll make it rounded. And then the text. We'll just delete the first part. We'll just call it button one. All right, that looks a little better. No, yes, of course, too, in the text box, you can change the background color and uh, the height and width. I'm just going to leave it automatic. Oh, I am going to change. I want to have the text in the text box be centered. And I'm going to leave the text color as black. Now, when you have the app, once you have it installed on your Android device, when you click on the text box, your keyboard, on-screen keyboard, will automatically pop up. And that's how you type your text in. All right, let's go over to the Blocks Editor and take a look at how we set this up. All right, first I'm going to show you, you now we have it set up for the buttons in the text box, but I'm going to show you one more application we could use that, the text-to-speech function with. So we're going to go to the screen one, and when screen one is initialized, we're going to drag that in. What that means is when you first open up the app and the screen initializes, 
what we're going to do is we're going to have the, the app say something. So we want to go, whoops, we want to go to the text to speech. We want to call text to speech one speak. Then we need to go under text, drag in a little text box here, click on that, and then you're going to type in whatever you want the app to say when the screen first initializes. I'm just going to put in test and then hit enter. You could put anything you want in there. Um, I put some pretty long strings of text in apps for it to say. I'm not sure what the limit is. I'm sure there is a limit to where you can, it'll only let you put so many characters in, but I've never ran into that and I've put some really long things in. All right, now next. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. Next we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we'd make it where if you just clicked the button, you'd make it say something. So we're gonna just duplicate this and drag it in. So when button one is clicked, we're gonna call the text to speech and we're gonna have it speak. And then of course, once again, put whatever text you would like it to say when you push the button in here. Now, another thing we can do instead of that is we have that text box in there. So I'm gonna drag that out of there get rid of it and we're going to go to the text whoops excuse me the text box and uh, we want to a second here to find it here we go text box one's text so what will happen now is when you push the button the num button number one it is going to the app will speak whatever you have typed into the text box now, if you type nothing into the text box, it's not going to play anything. Now, we could also add something else in on there. Um, let's, I know what we can do here. Let's uh, do some more with that text box. So after the button is pushed and the text is spoken, let's automatically delete that. So we just want to grab this. Put set text box one text two and grab an empty text and drag that in. Now what will happen is after you push the button and it speaks the text, it sets the text box will be blank now. It won't have whatever you typed in there anymore. All right. Um, one more thing we'll show you quick. Go under, whoops, not control, my bad. All right, where is that? Um, back press to initialize. Well, you could do here, like if the screen orientation changes, you could have put the call to um, text to speech and have it say, you know, horizontal, vertical. Um, initialize back pressed. I, well, if I remember when the back button's pressed, that closes the app. So you could drag this in. And then, again, we're just going to duplicate this, put it in there. Now, when the app is closed, when you push the back button, you could have it say goodbye or thanks for using this app or whatever you want to put in there. <clears throat> All right. Well, I hope you found that information useful. Um, I know this wasn't a real long tutorial, and there are other uses for this. So I'm just giving you a basic run through on how to use it. So you should be able to figure out um, other applications where you'd want to use the, the text to speech function. So, um, well, make sure you subscribe. And if you found the information useful, give us a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Uh, make sure to join join us here for episode six. Uh, I do believe that one we're going to go over the password text box. And probably what I'll do is I'll show you how to make a password screen. So when the app first opens up, you go to a screen and then you got to put in a password. Then when you click the, you know, enter button or however you set it up with a button there to enter 
to enter the uh, password that you put in and have it then, if the password is correct, open up another screen. So make sure to join us for that episode. I might actually even have that up later today. If I don't, I'll have it up by tomorrow. So with that, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day. And remember, have fun building your apps.